Hello guys, welcome back. Today I am going to begin a new series that is series on college reviews. Firstly, I will begin with engineering colleges in Karnataka, then we shall step forward uh, to prominent uh, engineering colleges in other states. Then later we shall discuss about uh, dental colleges, medical colleges, law colleges, management colleges, business colleges, etc. and etc. and also degree colleges. So please subscribe, hit the bell icon and be updated. Firstly, we will begin with the RV College of Engineering, that is Rashtriya Vidyalaya College of Engineering in Bengaluru. It offers a BE degree in 11 specializations, that is a BE in Aerospace, Mechanical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Electronics and Electrical Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Electronics and Instrumental Engineering, Biotechnology, Chemical Engineering, uh, Information Science and Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering. It is also placed in 63rd rank by NIRF. It also includes one school of architecture and MCA. Now coming to mode of admission. Students can get into this college either by writing KCET or KOMETK. KCET is for students who have been in Karnataka for at least 7 years and KOMETK is for students throughout India. 40% of the seats are covered by KCET and 35% is covered by Comet K and 25% is covered by management. The fee structure and the placement which is the plus point of this college will be explained by the end of the video. So watch the complete video. Don't miss anything. Now coming to the cutoff rank. I will discuss about the cutoff rank in KCET and also in Comet K. Firstly I will discuss about KCET because 40% of the seat is covered by KCET. Now, looking at 2019 KCET second round cutoff for different uh, branches and category, I can say that Computer Science, ECE and uh, Information Science and Engineering are the most favorite uh, branches for students. As uh, in case of general merit, you can see that uh, the cutoff rank for uh, Computer Science and Engineering was 99 and that for ECE was 277 and for information science and engineering was 299. If you want to see the cutoff ranks properly just uh, pause the video and uh, view it. I have searched a lot but I didn't get 2019 Comet K cutoff rankings but uh, I have got hands on 2018 second round Comet K cutoff rankings. By observing it the cutoff ranking for uh, computer science and engineering was 417 while that of information science and engineering was 585 and that for ECE was 1271. If you want to have a look just uh, pause the video and have a glance. Now coming on to faculties of RVCE. Most of the faculties are very helpful and very friendly in all the matters. Even in research works, they don't act as if they only know everything. Instead, they motivate the students, they ask the students to apply their proper knowledge. Yeah, there are some faculties who are uh, not the best. But still, most of them are very nice. It is not what I say. It is the review given by the students of RBCE itself. Now, moving on to hostel facilities. I didn't get a proper information regarding girls hostel but uh, I have information regarding boys hostels. There are mainly four hostel blocks that is uh, uh, Chamundi block, then Kaveri block, DJ block which is Diamond Jubilee block and Yamvishwishwaraya block. 
In the website, it is given that third year students are given Kaveri block, but I have got information that third year students are given Chamundi block. I don't know what is proper. Uh, so any RV student who is watching this video, please comment below and give the right information so that our juniors who are watching this video get benefited. In the first year, one room is occupied by three students. In the second year and the third year, one room is occupied by two students only. And in the fourth year, which is the final year, one room is occupied by only one student. There are totally 719 rooms and 1297 students can occupy in the hostel. Now speaking about the campus, it is located 13 km away from Bengaluru city on the Mysore road. The campus is spread over about 51 acres and the area is well utilized. The infrastructure is well maintained and they even have an indoor basketball court which is not provided by many colleges and it is a very good news. Then uh, there is a cricket ground, football ground, volleyball ground, then outdoor basketball court, then a gymnasium and many more facilities. There are many mini cafeterias along with the main canteen and the food provided are decent. They even have library that provides ebook facility. Not all the college provides ebook facilities. About uh, 40,000 ebooks are available 24 7. They also provide magazines, e journals, and daily 50 newspapers of different languages, including Kannada, English, and Hindi. Now, coming on to cultural activities RBC celebrates 8th Mile, which is the cultural fest they celebrate every year, and there is a huge gathering. I'm sure that you will enjoy this fest a lot. Now coming towards the end, we shall discuss about the fees and the placement of this college. Now we shall discuss about the institution fees and the hostel fees. If the candidate is taking admission through KCET, his tuition fees will be 58,806 per year. Plus he will have to pay the college fees which is 37,100. And if the student uh, is taking admission through Comet K, he will have to pay the tuition fees of 2,1960 plus he will have to pay the college fees of 37,100 if he is from Karnataka and if he is not from Karnataka he will have to pay 38,600. Now coming to hostel fees. For boys hostel 1,1750 per year is the fee and for girls hostel 98,350 per year is the fee. If the student is taking admission through management, he will have to pay 32 lakhs approximate for 4 years. So yeah guys, now we have reached to the conclusion of this video. Don't panic, I shall discuss about the placement and the packages. Placement, which is the best point of this college, is the most remarkable in Karnataka. If you search in Google, you will get to know that 70 lakh per annum is the median salary offered by this college. Some of the new IITs and NITs don't even give such a huge number. And the highest package offered by this college is 50 lakh per annum. Now looking at the placement statistics, I will not discuss about 2020 placement because it is yet to be completed. So I shall discuss about uh, 2019 placement. In the year 2019, 230 companies visited the college and have made 1452 offers. If you want to have a proper glance, just pause the video and have a look. I hope that the information I have provided was helpful and beneficial. If you have any kind of question related to this college, ask me in the comment section and I am ready to answer. And if I have given some wrong information, just suggest me in the comment section. I will edit the video for the upcoming students who will watch this video later. Make sure you have subscribed. And if you have subscribed, hit the bell icon and give a thumbs up. Thank you.